Right now at 11, a suspect killed and two police officers hurt during a shootout in northwest Indiana. How a murder at a Merrillville hotel led to a deadly encounter in Gary. Flames rip through a home on the southwest side, claiming the life of a 77-year-old man. His wife says she first found out about the fire from her ring doorbell camera. And I saw the fire department taking the doors off my house. And that's when I called the fire department, and they told me I should come home. Now the house is boarded up as his wife and seven children try to figure out how they'll go on without him. Good morning. I'm Andrea Nabigas, and for Aaron Kennedy. And I'm Ryan Baker. Right now, investigators are trying to determine exactly how that fire started. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live at the home in the Wrightwood neighborhood as the family copes with this devastating loss. Eric. Ryan, Audrina, loved ones have spent hours outside the house this morning removing keepsakes and watching crews board up the property, all while they reminisce about the man they lost so suddenly overnight. Brenda Johnson watched as her Wrightwood home was boarded up Tuesday morning, surrounded by loved ones hours after losing her husband, John Stan Johnson, in a house fire. He was a really sweet, gentleman anything you wanted he made sure he asked he loved everybody Johnson says she was at work just before 3 a.m. when she got an alert on her phone from their ring camera system with no idea what was happening inside her home she dialed 911 and rushed right there when she arrived at 85th and Whipple she learned her husband the man she'd spent the last 50 years of her life with had passed away. Stan, as his friends called him, was a retired city of Chicago health inspector. It's unbearable. I just, I just been with him so long. I just don't know how I'm gonna live without him. Loved ones say the 77 year old and his wife lived here alone. They believe he was asleep when the flames began and there were working smoke detectors inside. Stan Johnson leaves behind seven children, 16 grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. At this time, the cause of the fire is still unknown. And just about 40 minutes ago, fire crews returned to the scene of this horrible house fire that happened this morning. They came out here and started passing out smoke detectors to some of the other homes in this neighborhood.